this is my cat Izzy. And this is a message from my buddy Ed. So as you saw, the surprise that I sent to Ed in my last vlog, which I didn't tell you in the last vlog it was going to Ed, but I gave away the zip code. Almost to the post office. I don't want to give too much away because I want it to be a total surprise, but I will give you a hint. This bad boy is going clear across the country to zip code 06037. So I'm pretty sure he pretty much knew where it was going, but I sent him a surprise. I guess I can tell you guys what it is because by the time Ed sees this vlog, he'll have already been probably home and opened it. So, as you guys may or may not know, I do a lot of DJI Mavic Pro tutorial videos. And I just really and honestly just started doing it just kind of, just to help people out and for the fun of it. And that's still my intent today. I know how frustrating it is whenever you have to read through things and do all this research and it could be learned so much simpler. And so I'm not saying I think I'm a good teacher or anything like that, but I just try my best to teach, teach to people how I learned how to do it and make it as easy as I possibly can. And I appreciate all of you uh, drone lovers that subscribe to my channel and I appreciate you a whole lot for those of you drone lovers who actually watch my vlogs too, because I do interject a lot of drone things in that and I know and I understand that the majority of you guys that subscribe to this channel are not here for these vlogs, they're not here for my cinematic videos, you're here more for the drone tutorials. So no matter what, if you subscribe to me, I really appreciate you and can't thank you enough. But anyways, to make a long story shorter, I met Ed through social media, basically Facebook and YouTube, and man, he's just an, he's just an awesome guy. Just a um, very likable guy, just great heart, just great family. Just um, that's, that's YouTube is so exciting. Social media is exciting from that standpoint. Here I am in the middle of the in the middle of the United States, basically in like the most unlikely of media video places as far as like, you know, I'm not out here on a coast in LA or somewhere in New York City. People don't really care about cinematography, videography, photography, all of that good stuff right here in the middle of the country. So I have a lot of amazing friends, a lot of great friends, lifelong friends, but there's not too many here in this area of the country that share the same passion for video work and cinematography and all that stuff. And so it's really cool to be able to meet and network with people outside of my geographic location, such as Ed, clear up in Connecticut. So anyways, back to the drone tutorials, I started doing all those and well, luckily and fortunate enough for me, people, third party companies started sending me um, accessories and gear for my drone for free and just exchange for a video or a review about it. And what's awesome is, is they're not like, please say it's great, please say it's awesome. They really don't. I give my honest opinion on all of these different things and these accessories, but I sent Ed a drone case that I no longer, that I, it's an amazing case. I love it but I actually have like two or three of them just like it. And I've gave one of them away to my buddy Cade, who coincidentally, you guys are gonna see later on in this vlog. And then I gave this one away to Ed because literally they just sit there and collect dust and free well and all you people that send me stuff, I really appreciate it, keep sending it. I'll make the videos and I really appreciate getting all that stuff, get some awesome accessories for my drone. And I like to share those accessories with you guys and I'll always give my honest opinion and view so you guys will know uh, kind of my opinion as far as whether I think it's worth money, buying it, all that good stuff. Anyways, way too much talking. Let's get back to some uh, more entertaining stuff on the vlog. Ed, hope you love your case, man. What is that? It must be my romper. She be romping in a romper. Do you want to see a sneak peek? Sure. You can see the whole thing, but the vlog just gets to see a sneak peek. Reminds me of Lifesavers, all the colors. I might save your life when I'm out there. You never know. <laughs> but you're the one acting weird. <laughs> Love you. Have, you. Have a good day, babe. She uh, 
she came home for an extremely late lunch. Um, I'm starting to get some gear packed up. Got my uh, actual real-time job, my actual job. Got that work under my belt for the day. Now I gotta get some camera gear loaded up because I'm going to do something pretty dang cool this evening. Hey, you're back. I forgot my phone somewhere. You're welcome. Love you, babe. Love you Have a good day at work. Anyways, so yeah, I gotta get some camera gear uh, loaded up, then I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. Okay, guys. So here's what I'm doing. I'm uh, headed up to Oklahoma City, more specifically to the Zoo Amphitheater, which is an outdoor concert venue. At least I think it's at the Zoo Amp. I think that's what Kate said. All right, boy, I can see you there. All right, Zoo Amphitheater, right? Yeah. All right, cool, man. I'll just holler at me whenever you're getting close. Pretty excited because. As of 2018, August 2018, none of these bands are like super huge names now, but they all had their heyday and they're still pretty big names. So it's a rock band known as 311. I think their hit songs are Down, and I think it's called Amber. And then The Offspring, which, you know, their, their hits are Self Esteem, Pretty Fly for a White Guy, Why Don't You Get a Job, uh, kind of grew up listening to the offspring a little bit in that 90s grunge era grunge rock and then also the gym class heroes who got really really big and popular about the time i was in college ish so i know all three bands so i'm really excited to be able to you know get to go film this thing how do i get to film this thing you may ask well just kind of like I uh, was talking about earlier when I was at my home office, talking about networking and connecting with other filmmakers, YouTubers, uh, social media people. I met my buddy Cade through, I believe it, our first contact was through Twitter. And uh, he is a really, really, really talented young filmmaker. Like I called you young, I'm probably like what seven, eight years older than you, Kate. But anyways, very dude. He, he's legit at not only capturing angles and his creativity and his just photographic eye, but also his editing skills are they're up there, man. So, anyways, Kate is from a town that's probably about oh an hour-ish away from Anadarko here in Southwest Oklahoma. And so, him and I became buds and pals and friends and all that good stuff just strictly because of our love for cinematography and, and cameras and video stuff. So, it's awesome to have somebody that, that local that I can talk to, bounce ideas off of, because, you know, all the rest of my amazing great friends that I grew up with and stuff, they're amazing, but they're just not, you know, they're not camera nerds. So, anyways, Cade got this gig i still don't know how it really doesn't matter I, I know how because he's super talented but he asked if uh i could come run a camera and uh i'm gonna make a little you know make a little bit of this too so that's always good and what's super cool again is it's it's three bands that i uh that i've listened to that i that i know that i've been interested in it's official first time filming a big name concert like this i'm actually wanting to get into producing music videos for you know, smaller independent artists and bands. So if you're out there, you're semi-local to Oklahoma, I will travel, but I, I'll have to be reimbursed for travel. If you're a small independent band, artist, whatever, and you're wanting a music video, hit me up. Me and Cade might team up on that and we'll produce you guys something that you'll be super proud of. Anyways, so much talking on this vlog. I apologize. Let's get to Oklahoma City. Awesome, bro. <laughs> you're, you're, you're awesome, man. That, that, that's really, really cool. Well, let me tell you about that case. Sounds good, Joe. I'll talk to you soon. All right, see ya. 
All right, here in the city, made excellent time and just about to the zoo amphitheater, going to uh, get parked and I'm gonna holler at Kate and see where he's at and gonna do a little game planning, get in there and get to work. All right, so I got here, got parked, had to go over there to the box office, got my credentials that lets them know, hey man, that guy's not crazy. He's supposed to be up and around here filming. So gonna get all this stuff taken care of, situated on my wrist, whatever I have to do. Contacted Cade, he's on his way up, told him where I was parked. He's here, folks. He is here. What's up, bro? What's up? What you doing? Chilling. You got any thoughts on where to go? Ah, uh, man, I don't. I we're just away. we're just here here to shoot, so okay. I don't, man. Well, you're gonna make somebody happy. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't need any money for it. I just want, don't want anybody to go to waste. Understood. Understood. Well, good luck. Right. Have a good one, sir. How are you guys? Good. Thanks, sir. All right, so Kate and I have gone around and we've got a few hyperlapses, which are basically just moving time lapses. And now we're breaking out the Zion Crane. We're fixing to go get some steady shots. And I'm learning from the man here. Backstage Cade is about to hook up the stabilizer and get it. Alright, gym class just went on, so Cade and I are geared up, about to get on stage, go all around. Spring just finished up, headed home. All right, just getting home. Uh, gotta get inside, get everything unpacked, situated, organized, all that good stuff. But uh, for now, all the way from Ireland, Vlog number 139. Over! Over.